Here at Billings Senior, this is the court, the gymnasium, where it all started in high school for the Bad Bear Sisters. Athletically, there were three of them. Today, Courtney and Cola are still excelling, both together and apart. As we're coming around and we're stealing, okay, we're taking too long. Okay, get here, get pressed quicker. Courtney is still very much bleeding orange. We'll reset them. She's senior's head volleyball coach, hired only a year ago when the Bronx took a chance on youth. I didn't want to be overlooked because of how young I was. Only 22, Courtney approached then activities director Mark Sulcer, wondering how she could avoid being overlooked. I have as much experience as I could at the time. I have asked all the right coaches, all the right questions. She applied, then sweated out. I was a very composed player, I'm a very composed coach, and so I think it was one of the first times like I've been really nervous. The senior grad was hired in a move that instantly paid off with this heart-stopping state double-A championship, a thrilling five-set win over crosstown rival Billings West. All the extra toughness that I put on them and all the pressure that I put on them, it paid off because in matches like that, we were built to last. We played for seven hours straight on Saturday. Good job, Jen. Fast forward to this season and another highlight for Courtney, who talked Cola into joining her on the bench as a part-time assistant. I'm kind of just like the hype man, basically. Yeah, Izzy! If they need help with drills, I'll, you know, toss a couple free balls, we'll just give them some down balls. She relates to them because she just, she's still playing right now. But Cola is playing a different sport. She's back in Billings after four years of basketball at Montana State now underway in her final year of eligibility at MSU Billings. Cola is already a strong presence for the Yellow Jackets on a team picked by coaches to win the conference. Jackets are a deep team in a season primed for a deep tournament run. Honestly, I know we all see us making it far postseason in March, and I know, I believe it, and I'm sure the girls do, see us finishing towards the end of March, maybe pushing up for April. That would mean a trip to the Elite Eight pushing for a national championship. Somewhat comically though, a lot of seniors volleyball players pictured Cola only as a basketball star. They didn't realize how explosive her volleyball skills once were. They all look at me and they're like, you play college basketball? Like, I used to play, I promise you. Like, I wasn't, I didn't just play volleyball. Like, I was kind of good at it, but. <laughs> she actually got to prove it for a hot minute in the preseason. I did jump in like one practice in August. So that was kind of fun, you know, just, you know, getting to go block them. Cola remembers watching Courtney coach in last year's roller coaster title match. So it was super cool because in the moment at BYU, we upset them. We weren't projected to win. We won as well, and there's no service in the locker room ever. And so I come outside, and I just see on Twitter, like, state chance. One of Courtney's true wishes was convincing both sisters to join her on the bench. They thought, how cool would it be to have three Coach Bad Bears on staff? Naomi's the eldest, but too busy chasing a doctorate degree. And as you can see, now a new mom. But Cola was able to swing it. Yeah, you know, just a volunteer position. And the youngest sister is seeing firsthand how Courtney is exactly where she always belonged. And it's so cool to see it unfold, especially at such a young age. This year, Senior produced another 20-win season, just narrowly missing State by a couple of points. But that's okay. Courtney's big picture is the same as it was in that job interview. Growing, young, strong females. But we also need to be smart. Going on to, you know, potentially be, you know, mothers and have their own families one day. And so... Courtney knows firsthand. When she was only 19, she chose to adopt a three-week-old infant. This little guy named Kingston. I'm just at a different point in my life than most people my age. Kingston's a lot bigger now and certainly has a sweet tooth, as you see here with marshmallow evidence. And don't let him fool you about his age. The four-year-old is quick to tell you he's five, much like his mom ahead of his years. Scott Breen, MTN Sports.